Hey guys, it's me Glitch Games and welcome to another YouTube video. And in today's YouTube video, we're going to be doing the first plugin tutorial on this channel, guys. Um, just a quick note for the future of this channel. Uh, for the future of this channel, I do want to move towards Minecraft content, probably about one or two plugin tutorials a week, and also one video a week on my new server, play.bingomc.tk. Um, if you want to join this server, you can, uh, however, it's not quite ready right now, so not all the features will be ready, and it's not on any voting sites yet, so there's probably not going to be many players online at the moment, and it's not really officially open, but if you do want to come and check it out, uh, that is play.bingoomc.tk. Anyways, guys, enough promotion. <laughs> Let's get straight into the plugin tutorial. So, guys, the plugin I'm going to be showcasing today is Easy Broadcast. Easy Broadcast is a plugin that broadcasts messages of your choice in to the chat and uh, this can be used as uh, reminders, as help, as tips, as notifications, as, as whatever you want to notify your players at certain intervals of time uh, and that will just let them know whatever you want to tell them in the chat and that's all fully automatic, no commands you need to do, just set up the config and then it runs until you disable it, which would be like removing the plugin because there is no disable command. It's a very easy to use plugin. The only command you can do is easy broadcast reload. So there's not really much you can do in the plugin in terms of things. It's uh, designed to be easy to set up. So let's get into the config. Okay guys, this is the config that you will be given uh, when you download this plugin from the Easy Broadcast um, Spigot page. Link will be in the description. Easy Broadcast runs with 13 point 1.13 and 1.14. It's a very simple plugin, so I'm sure it'll work with everything else. It's just tested on those. So we're going to start off in this config. Uh, you so in this config, you can uh, change the prefix the interval in seconds so 30 would mean every 30 seconds a message gets displayed and what type of messages get displayed so we're going to start off by changing the prefix right now it has the default easy broadcast um message but i don't want to have the default message uh because that doesn't make my look professional so i'm going to make it so that it's broadcasting tips to my players so i'm going to do and a which is the color code for green and L, which is the uh, format code for bold. And then I'm going to take everything out from in here and I'm just going to write tip. I'm not going to do anything else fancy. You can, of course, make the brackets different colors and stuff, but I'm just going to make it say tip because that's what I'm going to be broadcasting through my server. I'm going to be broadcasting tips. So if we do slash easy broadcast reload, and now you can see it has a tip in front of the message. Um, so now we want to change the interval. So I would recommend changing it to something like two to three minutes. Um, my server is gonna have it at three minutes, which would be 180 seconds, but I'm going to change it to 10 seconds so that it's easier for me to do this tutorial. I'm gonna press save file. And now if I do the reload, you'll see that messages are gonna come through a lot quicker. Hang on, let's wait. Probably six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. There comes through another message. And that's gonna come through every 10 seconds now. So next we wanna change the actual messages. So um, if you don't know how to use color codes, there's uh, just Google, um, Minecraft color codes and there's lots of websites. This is one of the websites. They'll all display this uh, weird S symbol with uh, numbers and letters. So what you want to do is grab just the number and then put an AND in front of the number rather than the S because the S is outdated. Um, and this is also, also the format codes for bold, underline, strike through and stuff. So for our first message we want to make it say this is a YouTube tutorial in red and bold. So what you're gonna wanna do is get the code for red and then we're also gonna get the code for bold. Now it's very important that you do the formatting codes after the color codes because if you don't, then the formatting code won't come through properly. I'm not sure what the reason for that is but it does it everywhere throughout Minecraft. It's just a general Minecraft rule so that's just how it works. Um, 
and then we want to say this is a YouTube tutorial okay that's the most scuffed spelling of YouTube ever and then if we hit save on that file and we do easy broadcast reload you'll see now we have our tip this is a YouTube tutorial now Next, I'm going to show you how to do messages that have new lines in them. So this um, plugin has a custom uh, code for having a new line. So in this message, we're going to say bannable. Offenses. On this server. So now we're going to want to grab the color code for aqua, which is B, and bold, which is L. And we're going to go and B and L. Now we've got this. Now if we hit save now, it's going to come up with ba tip ban of all offenses on this server. So... Now we're going to go into the config and we're going to put a command in so that we can get a new line. So we're going to put slash or backslash n and that's going to give us a new line. Now if we leave it like this and we type in our text, it's going to go y and back to the default. So every time you do a new line, it's going to go back to the defaults. So we're going to put in and and then we're going to find the color code for red, which is c and C and L. And now we can type in what we want to type in. So we're going to say hacked client. Hacked clients. And I'm going to copy my backslash and N and C and L. And we're going to paste it in the back here. So that's um, backslash you might have to change your color codes, but because I'm keeping all the color codes the same, I can copy and paste it. So now we're going to put dash, and we're going to put bug abuse. And that's going to give another line and another red text. Now for the last one, I'm going to show you what happens if I just do the backslash N with nothing. And we're going to do swearing. And... Now, if we hit save file, um, we should have the aqua line along with the two light red lines and the bottom default line. So, probably three or so seconds until the message comes through. And there it is. You've got bannable offenses on this server, hacked clients, bug abuse, and swearing. And swearing's not in that text. So, I'm going to put that last line and we're going to add the color codes of and c and l want to hit save and then we'll reload the server and this will be our last reload and we're going to see it come through and if this works we'll end off the video hopefully it works please that work please work and it's worked guys Oh my god, you have no idea how many times I messed up a code in there and had to redo the whole entire video. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. Uh, turn on post notifications because I'm going to be doing a ton more of these plugin uh, showcases and tutorials. Um, I'm probably going to be doing like two more this week. Um, hopefully, to get this started off and continuing on, I'll probably be doing two to one to two a week. Um, if you've got any suggestions for plugins that I should do a tutorial on, just leave them down below, um, of, because there might be a plugin that you want to use, but you don't know how to use it, and there's not a tutorial on YouTube. Like, I had troubles finding a plugin to do broadcasting for my server, um, because there wasn't very many tutorials, a lot of them were outdated, and that's why I've brought to you this tutorial. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. See ya.